Hello guys, welcome to the video, I hope you all are well. Today's video guys is for the wizard class for, uh, for patch 266 season 18. This is the VS Chanchanjo's Torment 16 speed farming build, okay? So uh, for those who have not played this build guys, it's an Archon build. And it's all about that wave of destruction from the Chanter as well. So when you go into Archon form, you have this pulsive PvE for 30 yards, and it just destroys everything. <laughs> it's absolutely OP as hell. It's very, very strong. So guys, if you're really struggling the season, and uh, you're looking just for a really easy build to get really going through the game quickly, man, look no further than Vias Chanterzos, man. It's insane. It is the solo meta as well. So this is the Torment 16 speed farming version, guys, okay? Finally put one together. Okay, so let's go through and all this works. Okay, guys, so you want to use Chan Shooter's will and offhand, okay? Uh, every second of mine, Archon form, you spell that wave of destruction, which, like we just showed, hits for 4,000 weapon damage to enemies within 30 yards. It's insane. And this damage scales with attack speed. You get the attack speed from the Vias set. We'll go there in just a second. Every time you hit one attack while not in Archon form, your 4,000 weapon damage is added to the wave of the structure, stacking up to 20 times. Okay, so when you're out of Archon form, you spam Arcane Torrent, which is this really cool skill here. And you start getting more Chanter's Resolve stacks, okay, and that will increase your DPS or your PBE while you're in Archon form. But for, for Torment 16, guys, you don't have to go to 20 stacks. Even with completely unorged gear, no Paragon in main stat, you know, 5 stacks a bit is more than enough. You'll be pretty much one shot in everything. It's, it's insanely cool. Very, very cool build, man. I can love it. Okay, guys, so yeah, four veers. You want to, uh, you want to go uh, boots, legs, chest, gloves, and shoulders, okay? We're using Rory and Granger for the extra set bonus to achieve six-piece bonus. What does this set do? Two set bonus. Archon gains the effects of every rune, okay? So you get Combustion for the AoE, Teleport, Pure Power for cooldown, Slow Time, so uh, the bubble and the, um, the Arcane Blast that you're spamming all the time follows you which is great then improve archon for the extra 50 percent increased damage leave it though on the cold rune which is slow time leave it on this rune it's very very important to do that otherwise you might run into issues <laughs> four set guys archon stacks also increase your attack speed armor and resistances okay so when you're in archon form the best one you want to use is frozen strike okay which is basically the left click melee attack it's a small aoe okay but it hits multiple enemies at once and as you're doing this you'll start getting more archon stacks the more stacks you have the more damage you have, more damage reduction, and attack speed, okay? Attention to a juggernaut. You can also stack with the disintegration wave as well. Bubble will slow enemy projectiles. And then right at the end there, you got the uh, the little blast, which is an instant spell that you can just spam all the time. So this is one which uh, also stacks, do stacks. So as you're blasting through the enemies, you just be pun you just punching that AoE all the time. We'll show it in a second, but it's very, very cool. Then you got a six piece bonus. Uh, you gain one Archon stack when you hit with an Archon ability. Which we just talked about. And Archon Stacks also reduce the damage taken by 0.15% and the damage increased to 100%. It's huge, mate. So, yeah, the more stacks you have, the stronger you become. It's nice and easy. It's very, very easy to get stacks in this build as well. Brilliant. Okay, guys, first ring then is the Avarice Band. This particular setup, guys, is for Torment 16 only, not for GR, this particular one. We've already done the GR solo build on the channel. Check it out. So, uh, Avarice Band, guys, basically gives us 30% pickup radius, okay, as you pick up gold. And it will also pick up health globes and progress globes as well. So you don't have to keep running around picking up stuff all the time. It's very, very annoying. So, yeah, sweet. It's a great, great ring. Get this from Bounty Mats. And the first legendary gem, guys, is the Gogok of Swiftness, which gives us cooldown and attack speed as well. Brilliant. Belt, guys, we're using the gold wrap. So uh, we have a gold generation here from the Boon the Horde of Legendary Gem here. Okay, so um, every time you kill an enemy, you get a big pile of gold. And then you pick that gold up by using the Everest Band, just run over it, and you get a massive extended bubble pickup radius. And then you become indestructible for five seconds when you pick up gold with the gold wrap belt. It's brilliant. It's absolutely fantastic. So you're completely indestructible. I'll try to make this uh, build, guys, as newbie as possible for the newer players. But we'll go with some other versions of this build where once you've got some orgs and decent paragon, man, you can start changing some stuff out to be a bit quicker. Brilliant. Next ring, guys, Royal Rain Grandeur, which is the six, six piece set bonus here. Next gem, of course, is the uh, the Bane of the Trap for the massive damage bonus. Last draw piece, guys, is Squirt's Necklace. Squirt's Necklace got changed. It now gives you a 100% damage buff, which is this thing right here. But you will, uh, if you get hit, though, you take 50% more damage. Okay? I know it sounds horrible, but you've got to be careful. But don't worry. Uh, Galvanizing Ward makes it so um, you will never lose your Squirt's damage bonus. Okay, as long as you have not taken damage in the last 5 seconds, you get a protective shield that absorbs 60% of your life in damage. Because of the, oh, well, originally it was magic weapon, but it's not, it's actually galvanizing ward. My bad in the last video. And last gem, guys, of course, is the uh, Boon Hoarder, which generates gold. At level 50, 
And also, when you pick up gold, you get movement, movement speed for two seconds, about thirty percent. Brilliant. Uh, Helm guys use Sawami. This keeps your previous Archon stacks for twenty seconds, well, up to twenty seconds. Mine was pretty crap, but you don't need it to be absolutely GG rolled. And uh, we'll make sure you put a diamond in the helm as well, guys. You want as much cooldown as possible in the build. Brilliant. Braces, guys, Nemesis, summon extra elites, off uh, pylons, etc., etc. Easy peasy. Nice. Okay, what's in the queue? Okay, guys, so make this nice and newbie as possible. I've put in the new Mr. Rich Reaver. Okay, so uh, as you kill enemies, you get cooldown from one second to, well, as you kill basically to your skills, but as you kill enemies. So um, this allows you to get going to straight back into Archon form straight away. Okay. Absolutely straight away. There is some other better options though for speed, like in Geom, for instance. Echo and Fury is really, really nice actually. As you are killing enemies, it gives you a 75% attack speed buff. Once you kill five enemies, and that lets you stack Archon extremely quickly. And also, uh, Fury gives you 25% movement speed buff as well. So you can opt to this a bit later, once your gear is really, really good. Right? You don't mind spamming Arcane time to get back into Archon form. We'll go over that in a second. But when you first start off, off guys, just use Mistress Reaper, man. It's nice, nice and easy, man. Nice and easy. Love it. You can use it in Geom as well if you want to. It's always a good option as you kill elites for cooldown reduction as well. Okay, guys, for Belt, you want to use Fabulous Improper Real Chain. Put this in the queue because that way you get yourself a guaranteed 50 Archon stacks as soon as you go into Archon form straight away. Brilliant. And then, guys, obviously, you bring on the Zodiac for cooldowns as well on top. So as you spam Arcane Torrent, you can bring the cooldown of your Archon down super, super quick. So if you haven't killed enough enemies somehow, you know, with Mistress Reaver, this is your backup to get an Archon form extremely quickly. Okay, so basically what you want to do, so you, we've just popped out of Archon form, then you would cast Absolute Zero to suck the mobs into that one spot. You cast your Bubble, this increases your attack speed by 10% and slows them down, their projectiles. Then you just spam Arcane Torrent, then Zodiac will proc and refresh the timer of Archon. Then you go back into Archon and just wreck face. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, let's go to the rest of the skill, guys. Archon Torrent, like I just said, use this to get back into your Archon form by spamming it on enemies to proc your Zodiac Ring. Slow time, stretch time, 10% attack speed buff. Brilliant. Also reduces their movement speed, projectiles, etc, etc as well. Make sure you stand in to gain the effect. Archon Slow Time, guys. Make sure you've got the Cold Rune on here. Storm Armor, Power of the Storm. Black Hole Absolute Zero, like I said earlier. You know, this gives you more damage as you come into um, your next Archon form. And uh, it will CC the mobs, so, you know, that way you can just get back in. It just makes it a little bit easier. You can change this to Teleport if you want to. But I really do recommend you use uh, Absolute Zero. So that way you can just CC them a little bit. Let's just, you know, just blow them up. Get straight back into your Archon pretty quick. Magic weapon, guys. Deflection. 10% damage buff. Um, also, you can use your Protective Shield for 3 seconds. That absorbs 4% of your life in damage. Brilliant. Then passive, guys. Galvanizing Warp. Uh, evocation for your cooldowns. Audacity for the extra damage. And then, of course, self res with Unstable Anomaly. Yeah, if you're on players on hardcore, definitely use this setup. If you're on softcore, though, you can change the self res over to illusionist for more movement speed. So, as you use your slow time or teleport, which we're doing all the time, you gain an extra 30% movement speed. But if you're brand new to the build, just use the baseline one first, guys, waiting until you get better gear and paragon, etc. etc. Also, guys, for a bit more speed, what you can do as well, you know, this build does have a lot of natural toughness because the more stacks you have, the stronger you become. So, um, what you can do eventually. Is take out gold wrap and shove in a Clem's Buff Belt. Clem's Buff Belt gives you an extra 25% run speed, okay, which is huge, you know, that's, that's really, really nice. And it'll just let you get A to B and just get through those, uh, gives that keyboard as soon as possible. But when you first start off, though, guys, definitely use the uh, the more newbie friendly gold wrap at first. Lovely. Okay, guys, so uh, let's go do a run. Okay, let's get our uh, magic weapon up and, of course, our storm armor as well. And uh, let's go smash. Well, I'm just going to go to Arkle Form right now. There we go. Now, what I'm doing now is I'm spamming Ice Blast, okay? It's a PBAOE. You can see my Archon stacks going up and up and up. And I'm just holding now left click on this monster here. Look, we've got 106 Archon stacks already. Look at our toughness. <laughs> it's absolutely bonkers, man. We've got absolutely no Paragon, zero Orgs in this as well. And no, bang, and now we're back into uh, the thing. Right, let's go. So let's just go find the leaks now. The more stacks we've got. Oh my god, look, this is stupid. <laughs> this is absolutely crazy. You can just see all the gold, look. Oh my god. It's absolutely crazy, but I've gone the wrong way, guys. I've gone the wrong way. There we go. Right, so I've come out of Archon form now, so this is when you're vulnerable. We've still got some stacks left, though, so we now cast Black Hole, Bubble, Arcane Torrent if you need it. And then you can start stacking your Chentoto stacks now. The higher this is, it goes up to 20, the more damage you do. Into Archon form, boom. Now just remember, the, as long as you're picking up gold, then um, you can never die. You can never die, man. If you pick it up, gold. Boom, boom, boom. 
Oh my god, what is this map? I've got the wrong way going, guys. I, I think I'm getting too hard to play this game now. <laughs> there we go! Hey! Oh my god. So you can see, guys, the Archon is up already. Bang, bang, bang. There we go. Previous stacks are still on there from Swami as well. Pretty much, guys, just, just, you know, just, just push forward. And just keep teleporting. Oh, it's Chester. I just keep spamming teleport and get to the next leap back. There they are. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Get your DBs. We're super mobile. We've got loads and loads of defense. And you see Archon form is up already because of uh, the Mishmas Reaver in the cube. Every time we kill on the... Oh, lovely. Every time we kill on a target, we get one second of cooldown. Now, even without no Paragon, no walks, look how fast we're just slaying everything. It's crazy, man. <laughs> It's crazy, Philbert. Oh my god, look at the state. Now imagine this with a full set of orcs. Insane. Absolutely insane. But yeah, guys, with the Chanto stacks, man, when you cast Arcane Turret, you don't need that many. To be honest, you know, I've got no orcs on whatsoever. We're not using no Paragon. And we're like, we're absolutely crushing it. Even with like one Chanto stack right now. If we was to use maximum Chanto stacks, then it'll be different. Should we use some Chanto stacks? Let's do it, man. Let's get some. Oh, I don't get killed. Oh, I got 13 that time. 13, man. I've got to start getting a bit, a bit now, man. There you go. And now it's going to hit like an absolute truck. It depends on your gear score, you know? If you've got like fully all gear, you probably have to do any stacks whatsoever, you know? Oh my god. <laughs> so yeah, like I said earlier, you know, eventually you can, uh, you can take out self-res. Take out self-res. And shove in a, uh, Illusionist with all movement speed, man. But you're already quite mobile anyway with the teleport, you know? We're, we're very, very mobile anyway. It's crazy. There's Rift Guardian. He won't last long. He was absolutely no good gear. There we go. <laughs> it's absolutely... Ooh, it's absolutely disgusting, guys. It's very, very cool. Definitely check this out, guys. It's such an easy build to play. And uh, well, I've got no chance of stacks. I've only got one stack there. And we're just absolutely decimating. Oh, another pack here. Give me your loot. As long as you're picking up gold, you can never die either. As long as you picking up gold, you never die. Because the toughness will just go through. Look, the toughness is broken. It's gone to zero. <laughs> it's got so much toughness in the build. Unbelievable. Oh, there you go, guys, man. Really easy, man. You know, it's so, so easy. You don't have to use no unity in this build or nothing, man. It's just... Just face walk. So, so easy to play. So, yeah, guys, if you're struggling playing the season a bit, or maybe you're a new player to Diablo 3, man, you want just a nice, easy build to get into the game and uh, start smashing out, man. Via Chantozos, man, is amazing. Okay, guys, as usual, in the description of this video, there will be a full Diablo fans guide for the, all the best rolls of gear, legendary gems, skills, etc., etc., guys. So, check the description of the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Have fun on T16 on this crazy build. I'll see you in the next video. Group speed will be next. Thanks for watching, guys. As usual, feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, shout out to those subbing me on Patreon as well, guys. Thanks very much. Feel free to like and share this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Enjoy.